everybody! In today's KSP video, we're going to be doing a recreation of the Mir 2 station, and there we go! First module is already up in the air. Yes, today, Mir 2. You may not have heard of it. It is a Soviet design. Yes, superior Soviet. Amazing. Epic. That's so great. So, uh, yeah, the Soviet Union uh, did make the Mir space station, uh, which is the thing they're pretty happy about. And then they were thinking about making the Mir 2 space station, which is like a sequel. It was massive. It was going to be awesome. It was going to be huge. It was going to be great. Um, and then eventually that, they were going to do that, but that kind of merged together. The Soviet Union kind of like stopped being a thing and ISS started to be a thing. You know, International Space Station like, hey, we need to team up and stuff. So um, actually, fun fact, a, a large portion of the uh, the Russian segment of the International Space Station was inspired by Mir 2. It's actually fairly similar. You'll see the resemblance of, you know, much about how the Russian segment looks in the space station. Uh, the Mir 2 is, is a bit, it's bigger than the Russian segment, so it's, it's, it's a pretty big station. It's fairly big, it's epic, it's cancelled, which means it's a video for my channel, right? I like to do kind of crap like this. Cancelled designs, especially cancelled Soviet designs, yes. Very epic. So, yeah, today's video, Mir 2. Uh, these were, uh, there are quite a few iterations on this station. It was, it was very difficult to find some good, good reference materials. I found, like, one good article, which had some great pictures and stuff. There are also a lot of different design variations on it. Um, the one with that, it was originally going to be launched by Energias, but there was like literally no information on that, so I found one that was mainly launched by Protons, um, and that's the one that we're going to be recreating this one. It's a, it's a cool version. Um, basically, the way it works is it has, it's kind of similar to the ISS, it has one main kind of crew area, uh, and then it has a little, some docking adapter areas. And there it is, there's our first module, it's actually a Zvezda module. Uh, definitely, it's an ISS, but they ripped that module to bring the ISS, it was a Zvezda. So that's the first launch. Now we're going to bring the second launch up on the Proton rocket, all these wrong Proton. It's not a great re Proton recreation, but eh, it'll work. Um, so, yeah, so it has the main area, then it has, like, all these modules, four modules, like, science modules that house, like, you know, we're going to grow plants in this one, and we're going to do this. There's a lot more, a lot, a lot, a lot more room for experiments in science and stuff, which, hey, pretty epic. I don't know, maybe there's like a Russian nuke or something in one of the modules. We, we really don't know anything. So, our second module is like the, it's like part two of the main crew habitation modules. Uh, the Zvezda was the main crew habitation module, and this one is like a crew walkway slash, we really don't know much, but uh, yeah, that's going to be the second module. So, we're going to getting it up into a realistic orbit, 350 by 450 kilometer orbit. Well, actually be 450 by 350 if you, you correct nomenclature and crap. So, uh, here we're going to get ready to do our very first uh, docking. We have a lot of extra uh, Delta V in the Proton, so we can do these kind of uh, not very efficient dockings. So yeah, that's going to be today's video. It's a really cool station. Hopefully you can stay to the end uh, if you want to. We actually do, uh, these are, uh, most of our launches, except for two of them, are done with the uh, with the Proton. And that's the last two. So the second to last one is a really ridiculous and stupid launch we do with the Energia. Um, and then the last launch is when we send the crew up and we do that on the, uh, the Soyuz. So hopefully you enjoy that. If you enjoyed the video, Nice little subscribe button if you want to hit that, comment section, like button, epicness. Thank you everyone, thanks all, all for all the extra subscribers and stuff, uh, it's been pretty cool. So yeah, good to see uh, new people, it's pretty awesome. So, we're going to do our very first docking of the day. This is the Zvezda to the uh, the other crew module there. You can see the two docking ports on the crew module where uh, the truss section will go. So there it goes, and that is launch number two completed. Now we can crossfade over to launch numero three, so it is now in the air. And this lot, this module contains the docking port area. So there are two universal docking things which have like a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, docking ports on them, six of them. And um, that's where they're going to dock uh, different modules and stuff too. Uh, universal docking adapters, I believe. I don't, I don't remember if that's what they're called, but they're called something like that. Um, I'm probably getting that completely wrong, but uh, yeah. So uh, two of them are like that, and then one of them is just mainly used for. Uh, for spacecraft docking or Soyuz docking, they were intending on bringing Soyuz's and maybe Buran's up here, but Buran was like half canceled by the time they were designing this. So, uh, yeah, that that is the uh, that's the thing. So it's, we're going into the orbit with the Proton. Proton is a four-staged orbit vehicle. It has a the two bottom two a bottom stage, then like a middle stage, and then a normal upper stage, then it has like a little kick stage as its uh, as its fourth stage. So it's kind of it's a pretty cool rocket. Proton is the infamous rocket, in, uh, infamous rocket. Uh, you know, because if you look on the next launch, you'll see the boosters are not, or they're all connected. They look like, like boosters that would split off and fly away, um, or be staged, but they're connected. That's like its whole gimmick thing. It's weird, but here we are coming in for, um, 
coming in for docking at number number two. Yes, the second docking. We're actually do some little bit of rearranging because, like I said, we have three modules in one here. I tried to split up the uh, split up the launches into as many uh, as few as possible, rather trying to get as many payloads to you know ride share with each other. So I have uh, the the um, the docking adapters are ride sharing. The uh, two of these. Uh, the experiment modules, their ride sharing only can fit two of them. There's four in total, so two of them are going to go up on each uh, flight. And then the uh, the truss sections are ride sharing. They're very dumb. You'll see it's dumb. But there you go. We're going to de detach uh, two of the docking adapters. Uh, one of the docking adapters are connected to a uh, different section of the station that's not quite up yet. Um, so we're just going to connect them in a clump, and then we'll get ready to unclump them uh, later on in the video. So. And there, here's the spacecraft one. So this thing is actually starting to look a little bit more like a space station now. I'm kind of a boring, just straight line space station, but it is definitely starting to starting to look like a space station. And now we can go ahead and get our next launch, launch number four already. Wow, a lot of launches. Uh, there are a lot of launches in this video. I really had to cut these down and get as, as few as possible, or get to, to as short a video as possible. This thing would have been like 20, 30 minutes long. It's been crazy. So there we go, throttling down, throttling back up through max Q. Uh, I did I did record a build time lapse. I think I may release that as a members only. Oh my gosh, guys, Zoom members give me money. Hashtag capitalism. Uh, I think just for, because, I mean, to be honest, I, I promised the members, uh, the people who have the tier two and above, who they're supposed to be getting, um, they're supposed to be getting my videos early in my last two, I think. I haven't actually given to them early or given them like an hour early and stuff. So I will make it up to them, give them a little bit of a little extra video. So, uh, yeah, very consistent branding, guys, or I don't know. So here, coming into orbit, you know, we're not, we kind of force a lot of these dockings, a lot of relative speed and stuff, but hey, you know, why not? So, yeah, that is, that is going to be uh, our, almost our next launch already done. This kind of reminds me of one of my first KSP videos I did uh, where I made a space station with Birans. Um, it's really fun, and we was seven launches. This one I think is more than seven. I think it's that it might also it might be seven. I don't remember. Uh, either way, I guess we'll have to count as the video goes on. It might be seven or eight, maybe even I don't remember. So, yeah, this reminds me of that where I built the space station at the end. That one was a lot more, a lot more, a lot more difficult than this one. Not a lot more because one of the launches on this one, uh, the <laughs> Energia, was an absolute pain. But uh, we got it to work. The brands are difficult because you had to land them. So here we go. There is our next module attached, and that is going to be the module where we can go ahead and realign the docking adapter, put it into its final destination, and there it goes very very shortly so now it is time for the final pieces to come up of the main crew habitation area thing where the it's actually pressurized area and that is going to be the four um the four experiment modules so we're going to be launching two of them now and then we're going to be launching the next two in the next launch after this one so that is going to be the plan for that and then after that's going to be the energy and then the crew so there are going to be uh, five more launch to four more launches I can count uh, to uh, to do so yeah I think that was eight launches in total so there we go just staging in the bottom stage I'm gonna get ready to burn the middle stage get ready to stage it away in a few seconds and there it goes middle stage and we go ahead and get ready to ditch the fairing that's basically the same launch profile as all the other launches probably get pretty bored of this launch launch mission we got it we got to spice up the video what else can we talk about <gasps> I know what time it is to do it is it is bottled water review, or just water review. I guess we can review other types of waters. It's water review. Yes, Matt. The 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 competition to <laughs> to Matt Lounge whiskey review. We are going to be doing uh, water review. And what water? We have done Fu Fiji water, and we have done Dasani. Um, let's see here. We should do hmm, Smart Water. Yes, Smart Water. They are. I'll put a picture on screen right now of Smart Water. So it's kind of weirder kind of containers. Um, yes, very epic, high quality uh, bottled water. I have never actually had Smart Water. I do not know what to say about Smart Water. We just I, we have to do water review. And I don't know. I don't have a water. I don't know. I, I'm not a very. I'm not a water a bottled water connoisseur. <laughs> I. I <laughs> I don't know what to say. Smart water. It has kind of an ugly bo bottle. I don't really like it. Um, I'm going to give it a 0 out of 10 on the bottle front. We're going to give it a, uh, I don't know, I've never really had it before, but I think we'll give it a 5 out of 10 on the taste front. It seems kind of average. Um, I don't know. Eh, I, don't know. I don't know why I'm giving my opinion if I've never had it. I mean, hey, it's basically just like the rest of the internet, right? Um, <laughs> you don't, don't know something and still talk about it, right? Hey, 
Welcome to the next launch. All right, so today we are on to our final Protod launch of the day. Today, day, blah, words. So this is going to be the last two. That was a really dumb water review. Uh, last two of the uh, last two of the science modules, and then it's going to get ready for the energy, which was such a. I know I've talked about it a lot, but it was such a pain to do. Like bros, broskies. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it took me forever. I, that's why this video is coming out basically a day late. Um, I, I keep talking. I keep telling myself I want to do a video a day, and then every time I get I get a video backed up, like I miss a day. I'm like, okay, well, we'll just get today's video done early tomorrow, and then it becomes late tomorrow. So like yesterday's video ends up getting done at like like nine o'clock today. Then I'm like, all right, well, we'll get a second video done in time, and then I watch YouTube videos and talking on the Discord and don't get it done. Discord plug, not very subtle Discord plug. Well, I guess it was a little subtle. I wasn't even intending on that being a plug, but hey, convenient plugs are convenient. So, yeah. <laughs> Did you guys hear SpaceX? Or, um, well, SpaceX is trying to incorporate uh, some town around Boca and call it uh, Boca Chica and call it uh, uh, Star Starbase. That's pretty cool. That is that is quite cool. I'd love to check that area out. Like, go say say hi to say hi to Boca Chicken. Say hi to the starships. Yes. So here, we're getting ready to do our final docking of the proton launches and the final docking of the pressurized section. So we're gonna go ahead and ditch the fourth stage there, and now we can go ahead and get our second to last experiment module lined up and docked in a very a very quick due time. And and there it goes. And now for our last experiment module that will uh, basically end the uh, the pressurized section. So you can kind of see this. This is basically what the uh, the Russian segment of the ISS is like. It just it doesn't have the experiment modules. Uh, it might be a little bit shorter too. But uh, yeah, that's it's very similar. A lot of inspiration from the from the Mir too. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have the trusses, but the Americans kind of took uh, took care of the trusses. So they could do a little bit of reorientation, seeing throw our docking ports in the right place because they weren't beforehand. But now we can get ready to the stupidest fairing of all time. Yes, welcome to the stupidest fairing of all time. Also, yeah, this is the stupidest fairing. Of uh, I really wanted to launch both trusses in one launch, so all the realism is just going to go flying out the window today. Um, and we are going to... Uh, I, like, I really didn't want to do like 15 launches and, launch and split the trusses up into small pieces. And um, Yeah, it, it would have been a mess to do it that way. So we are going to brute force. Hey, this is a Kerbal method, isn't it? And I honestly didn't know I could do this, but I'm literally pushing an energy rocket to its limit. Like, this is about as much as it could carry without like not making it to orbit. It is actually quite impressive. I use every drop of fuel out of this thing. So I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know that was a thing that you could actually like. Energy is a massive rocket. Like you have to drain quite a bit of fuel when you're doing Buran launches on it because it's so big. Like it, I was actually surprised. I managed to use almost all the fuel. Like look, look at the fuel on my core. There's like nothing left. Uh, so we're not, not even orbit yet. I, I don't even actually get fully circularized at that stage. I have a little bit of a kick stage to help us get there. But you can see our truss sections. Uh, there are two truss sections that are connected by the docking port. Um, you'll see in just a second as we go to do our docking. There is uh, the communication side, which has those giant radar dishes or radio dishes. And then there's the solar panel section, which is kind of like a mat lounge and, and type solar panel, like where you know you have the um, we have uh, the um, the big solar panels connected to um, to pistons and hinges and stuff. You can like put them together and stuff. So those are going to unfold. They're all they're folded up right now. And oh, I just took out a solar panel. Oh, that's not good. Should we keep going or should we, re we revert? We F9, F9. Yeah, let's F9. So uh, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and do the really agonizing deployment process. I didn't really want to do it. I didn't want to do an action group because this thing is really fiddly, so I have to kind of just kind of kind of manhandle it around. Uh, it's cringe worth. Cringe, cringe heavy. Um, <laughs> very cringe. So eventually, we, eventually they, they managed to lock themselves in the two place as we, uh, as uh, we're going to do the solar panel module first. It does, does take, it does take, it does take a nice pretty second and they can kind of wobble around. These are very crack and heavy. On um, this type of solar panel design, but eventually it'll eventually work. So there we go, folding them out, and there are the big, nice, epic solar panels. And uh, yeah, there we go. Eventually, yeah, they lock, and then we can decouple the um, decouple that module and get get that part low down, get rid of the kick stage, and now we can uh, get ourselves attached to Zivan docking port, making sure we're oriented in the right direction. Else, that'd have been really bad if we weren't. I guess we could just rotate the panels because we have those hinges on them. Big epic. And here we go, coming in for a dock. There it is, docking. All right, now we're gonna get the communication side of the truss docked up. Full disclosure: there are way better ways to do the truss. Like if you actually want to get like hexa hexa hexagonal, like the real one. Um, but uh, ooh, the part count, man. I really wanted to keep the part count below like 800 for this 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 staging because I wanted to kind of run it at a manageable frame rate because I kind of want to use this space station. So, yeah, that's that. Welcome to the final launch of the video. Uh, you know. 
That's, that's why I said that. So, Soyuz time. Yes, the Soyuz time. The crew are going to finally come up, even though Jeb was kind of launched on the Vezda because they didn't put any of the control on it. So, hey, he Jeb, he's a rebel. He doesn't even need a... He, you know, he's a risk taker. He doesn't even need a launch escape system. I mean, it's Russia. When do they ever have a launch escape system? <clears throat> Russian jokes. We like Russian jokes. Yes, Russian jokes. All right, so time to go one time speed. We're going to have, you know, Marvel at the Korolev Cross. There it goes. And now we can get ready to speed the footage back up and get into our orbit. And the crew can meet up with the, uh, with the, um, with the Mir 2. All great alternate history. What if the Mir 2 is there? I need to do Freedom now. If you don't, Freedom is the, uh, the American design, similar to Mir 2. They were like, hey, let's make a space station. Russia was also like, hey, let's also make the space station. And then they were like, hey, we're both making space stations and we just got done with this Cold War thing. Maybe if we did like a show of unity, um, you know, so they kind of combined the two. So that could be cool. We show the uh, the origins of uh, of kind of what the ISS is like. We'll have to do that. That'll be a fun video to do as the fairing has been deployed on the uh, on the Soyuz. I forgot RCS on this thing. A lot of people pointed out this is the same for Soyuz as I uh, used in my Soyuz tutorial. Um, and uh, I very much forgot RCS, and plenty of people pointed that out in the comment section. And I forgot to add it this time too. So hey, I am very very forgetful. Per hey, it wouldn't be a pilot video without something going stupidly wrong. I am like Matt Lown, but low production value. Ah, if you're looking at look, look watching Matt, yes, I am like you, but I am worse. So, and I do a lot more recreations than you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there we go. We have our docking set up now, and we can go ahead and drift towards the station as we uh, stage away the uh, the third stage, or at least the, the upper stage of the Soyuz. Deploy the solar panel. You really said that before. Now you can see the station come into view, the basically fully completed station. The real one would have had two Soyuzes, I believe, docked to it at all time, like one normal Soyuz and one, like, escape pod Soyuz in case something was going wrong. And there's something going wrong. Hello, Kraken. How are you doing today? <laughs> um, but I don't think you guys would have really wanted to see me launch another series. That would have been very, very boring. And this video is already pretty long. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the Kraken situation worked out. And by worked out, I mean only kind of worked out. <laughs> um, if anyone has a better way of doing this, please let me know. So there you go. But it's a little kind of broken. But either way, point is, we can begin our approach to the station. Because I want to do it all official-like. I'm not going to loun lazy method it in. Because in the real life, they don't like whip. You know, we don't. Blah, blah, I can't speak. They don't really whip stations around, like you know, in circles and stuff to dock stuff in real life. So we're gonna leave the station in one direction. We're gonna go ahead and uh, approach the station nice and properly. We are gonna uh, approach like they really do from the progradal direction or off its prograde. Um, we do that uh, for reasons because it's easier to maintain alignment uh, with this thing. Because if you ap approach from a, a normal or anti-normal direction, the stations as you approach. Um, as you approach the target, it's gonna like slide away from you. I mean, the same thing with uh, if you're approaching prograded or retrograde. If you know, if if you're, it is kind of weird orbital mechanics when you're trying to dock. Cause like even if like if you're if you're like floating like right next to it and you want to like propel yourself towards it and you're facing uh, to it to retrograde relative to to the body that you're orbiting and you fire your thrusters, you're, you're actually gonna lower your orbit. So you're gonna actually start speeding up and going lower. Um, so yeah, you, you have to actually point at the right direction so you don't like drop below this. It's really cool and weird and kind of mind bendy and weird. And yeah, that's why we like it, isn't it? And there is the docking complete and that is going to be our station. I'm going to rotate and get into a nice little camera shot, which I'll crossfade to uh, in just a second. We will crossfade right about now. I can see it on the timeline so I know it's coming. And there it is. There it is. So thank you all very much for watching. That's the end of today's video. I am going to at the end current moment show a picture of all the members so big thanks to anyone who is a member you can hit the join button if you want but that's gonna be it for today like thank you for watching we'll see you next time please rate or comment to this video once again thank you for watching we'll see you next time and bye